Hello, Dave here in the wonderful city of Sheffield in Carver Street. As usual, <laughs> when I'm walking about, I just, you know, stumble across things. And I've got a beautiful little chase that just took down the back here. And it's strange because I've just <laughs> been taking pictures of another building. And the builder come up to me, started saying about Victorian architecture. And I said, well, I don't believe it is the Victorians that built these things. He says, oh, you don't mean about Tataria, do you? And I thought, well, yeah, something like that. So I showed him my channel. And we were talking about these things here, churches. It's what I say in all my church videos. People don't like it, but they can't prove me wrong. And that's churches did not construct these. They weren't commandeered by churches, they weren't commissioned by churches, they weren't commissioned by religion. Nowhere in any religious books or texts have I seen that you need to build these bloody big structures like this, spend exquisite amount of money on useless decorations, so they say, but it's not decoration, it's part of the functionality of the building. So anyway, we'll just... <coughs> There's very little I can see, to be honest. I mean, I tell straight away by looking at it, I bet there's at least 20, 30 foot missing below the ground here. There's nothing... Uh, there's a lovely little lady I've just spotted up there somewhere. Yeah. Little capacitors, these things here, help to do with the flow and regulation of the power. Yeah, it's quite a nice little place. See the earth and cables coming down all over. Yeah, I might be able to actually get in and have a look around this place. See, there isn't that much to the front of it. I'll just wander about along a bit. And I'll show you the building next to it. So you can see what I mean by mud flood. See, with churches, you know, that's a later addition, a later feature. That will have been put in when religion commandeered these buildings. You know, the thing I can never get away from or understand why is why do they put decoration that far up and people can't see it? You know, there's a few heads and gargoyles up the top of here. Now, you could go and ask 90% of the people in Sheffield, or if I showed them a picture of these gargoyles and said what building it was on, they wouldn't have a clue. You know, because all these things are put up out of sight, where nobody will see them. <laughs> right, mud flood. There's no evidence along the front of the church. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but what I'll do, uh, <coughs> and that lady gets in the house out the way, I'll just move along at this lovely building. I dare say it's the vicarage or something. They used to be part of the church, maybe still is. as the usual, what I call, there will have been these flat areas, there will have been something sat on top of them once over, there's one there, there's one there, quite plain simple windows, no carvings, what's that, hang on, how interesting, no not really, But here we go, just nip over the road here. <laughs> oh shit. And as you can see, the tops of windows there. Same size as that one. Goes all the way down there, look. Now, why would anybody in the right mind build any sort of property like that? 
you know, amazing big windows. Doesn't look straight out onto the mud. See this, sometime in history, these streets have been raised massively. But it's not just in this street. It's all over Sheffield, all over every, oh, that's interesting. It only goes as far as down there, like, but. Yeah. So this is a little church. I don't even know what to call it. How ignorant of me. Let's have a look on the door here. St. Matthew's, Carver Street. Right, let's see if we can get inside. They might not let me inside with the camera video. Most churches won't. They don't mind you taking still images, but... Uh, let's have a look at the doorway before I go in. Yeah, very badly damaged, but... And they've, they've let me take pictures. I'll stick them on the back end of this. Catch you later.